This is how you can make an emoji mixer command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot here, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot here, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to open up this link in the description below. We're going to be using the Google Tenor API for this. So you're going to go to developers.google.com um, and you can just click the link like I said. And once you're here, you're going to go down in the quick start section and you're going to go ahead and go to the setup. From here, you're going to go ahead and click get a Tenor API key. And then here, you're just going to want to go ahead and choose a project so you can use one of your other projects or or you can make a new project. And then after you choose a project, you're gonna go ahead and click next. That's gonna load for some time and it's gonna give you an API key. So you can go ahead and click show key and it's gonna give you this key. Now, obviously I'm gonna blur this key out so you guys can't use my key, but you can go ahead and actually copy this key and paste it somewhere safe so we can access it later in the code. So after doing that, we're gonna go to our code. We're gonna go to community and we can go ahead and create emoji mixer.js. Then we can do const and we're gonna get our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Next, we can go ahead and do const super agent equals require and we can go ahead and get our super agent package. Make sure you install that. And we're also going to do const only emoji equals require and we can go ahead and get emoji aware and then we can do dot only emoji. Then after doing that, we can do module.exports. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We can go ahead and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name in here. We can go ahead and say emoji mixer and we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say combine two different emojis and we can go ahead and add a string option. We're going to go ahead and get our option arrow function option dot set name. We can go and get our emoji. We're going to go ahead and say a description. We can say the emoji to combine. Actually, we're going to say emojis because it's two. And we're going to go ahead and set required to true. And we can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to start by deferring a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true. So we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get informal. And we're going to go ahead and set that to true. Then we're going to go ahead and get some options here. So we can do const. We're going to go ahead and get our options. And we can set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const e string equals options that get string. We're going to get our emojis. So our emoji string. And then we can do const input equals only emoji. So we're going to use that package or function. And we can get our e string. So we're going to set that to an array basically with both of our emojis. Then we can do const response equals. And we can go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go ahead and get the caution emoji. Uh, this is going to be the response we're going to send if we get an error and we're making it a variable because we have multiple checks that are going to need to send the exact same response. That way we don't have to type it out every time. So we can say one or both of these emojis and we can actually go ahead and do backslash tick and we can go get e string and we can do backslash tick again just so that it's ticked off there. Then we can go in and say are not supported. We can say keep in mind that gestures and we can do IE thumbs up and we can say and custom server emojis are not supported and we can add a period and a semicolon. So next we can actually go ahead and get our output. So we're gonna make this a variable. So we can do const output equals and we're gonna go ahead and do await super agent dot get and we're gonna go ahead and get the tenor API. So we're going to go ahead and paste in this link. So it's going to be the tenor API link. And then we can go ahead and do dot query and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our key, which is going to be our API key. Now I'm not going to show this key. I'm going to put it in after we finish all of the code. So just go ahead and put your tenor API key that we copied and pasted at the beginning of the video. Um, and then once you do that, we can move on. Then we can go ahead and get content filter and that is going to be high. We can do media filter and that is going to be a PNG and we can do transparent and then we can do component and we're going to go and get proactive and we can go ahead and get our collection and this is going to be the API collection we're using. So we can do emoji kitchen and we can do V5. So this is like Android's emoji kitchen, if you've ever seen that before. Um, and we can also get our queue, which is our query. We can do input.join, and we're going to go ahead and join it just like that. 
Um, and then we can actually go ahead and catch an error. So we can do catch error because we're actually going to go ahead and do some error filtering later. We do not want to get any errors with this. Otherwise, those filters won't work. All right. So after doing that, we're going to go ahead and do those error filters. So we're going to start by saying if no output. We can go ahead and open this up. We can go ahead and return await interaction edit reply. And we can do content and we're going to get the response variable. And I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this very line because we're going to be using it multiple times here. We can say else if, and we can say no output dot body dot results, and we can get zero. We can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and send that message. Lastly, we can do else if. We can do e string dot starts with, and we're going to go ahead and get an arrow, and then we can say or e string. And we can go ahead and say dot ends with, and we can go ahead and get the opposite arrow just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and open this up and we can go ahead and paste our response. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and send our embed because we've completed everything we need to do. So we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be blurple. And I'm just going to go ahead and set an image and we can do output dot body dot results. So we're going to get our results and we're going to get zero and then we can just do dot URL. Then we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do a wait interaction dot edit to reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds which is going to be our embed just like that. So with that we are actually done. I am going to go ahead and add my API key in here now. Just make sure you add that in. Do not forget that. And after you do that we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. Alright so from the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and get emoji mixer. And we can go ahead and select our two emojis. Now keep in mind, it is not going to work if you select server emojis. And it's not going to work if you select any default hand gestures like thumbs up or any of these. And some of the emojis too won't work either. Like this one won't work and a couple of the other ones won't. But we can go ahead and try to combine a couple of them first. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one and we can just do this. So we can just do two random default emojis. So that's how it works. It does actually combine it and it looks really good. It's a high quality image and it works really well. So we can go ahead and try this a couple more times. This time we can do the Pinocchio one and we can do a pumpkin here. We're going to go ahead and send it and there it is. So it does work really, really well. You can do any emojis. Now let's go ahead and check out our error handling system. We can go ahead and get a server emoji and a default emoji. So as you can see here, it's going to say one or both of these emojis and it's going to give the emojis and it's going to say are not supported. Now let's say we try to do a wave and we try to do a skull. As you can see, it's going to say that it's not supported because hand gestures are not supported. I know a lot of these actually are going to work. Pretty much every default emoji is going to work, um, except for like a couple of those hand gestures. So just keep in mind that that's why you're going to get that error message. Even if you use default emojis um, that look like they should work, if it's like a gesture or not like a clear face, it might not be supported with this API. But that's how you can make an emoji mixer command. It is really, really cool. So yeah, if you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.